My reaction to that is that Ja Moran is in a world of trouble. Because when I saw Adam Silver just now, it reeked of a commissioner that is telling us he sat down face to face with this superstar, discussed with you how serious the matter was, discussed with you the potential punishment that lied in wait. And we know this because he said it and then followed up by saying, so when I saw the video this weekend, I was shocked because he did, he couldn't believe and never surmised that literally weeks after suspending John Moran for eight games, costing him over $600,000, putting a Nike deal, a power eight deal in jeopardy, that we would be sitting here this soon after that conversation. So now the commissioner, to me, guys, has essentially said, I have to make sure I send a message. And a message is coming once this investigation concludes. I, I think he felt betrayed. That's what, he, that's what it sounded like to me. That he, he would per, and he should feel that way. He sat face to face and he lied to him and has flagrant disregard for his own career, for the league and the enterprise that is the NBA that makes it possible for him to do this and the perception of everybody in it. So, yeah, it ought to be big consequences coming. I mean,